Today we have Wednesday updates. Hi, welcome. My name is Tina and I had traditional duodenal switch surgery with Dr. Shrikanth in Federal Way, Washington on June 9th of 2020. I'm currently just over seven months out from my surgery. Um, my highest weight ever was 340 pounds. My weight the day I met Dr. Shrikanth, um, the end of February of 2020, I weighed 282 pounds. My day of surgery weight on June 9th of 2020 was 252 pounds, and my current weight is 197 pounds. Um, and I've been kind of stalled at this weight for a few weeks, and I'm okay with that. Um, I, wanted, I went to the doctor yesterday, I went to see uh, Dr. Shrikanth. Um, I didn't see Dr. Shrikanth, I saw Carly, who works in his office, um, who's who I see every, every month or so now, since my surgery. and. We, um, I just kind of want to share some of the things that we talked about, and um, I also want to share, I have some updates on my hair, so stay tuned for that. But first of all, I want to talk about my visit with Carly. Um, so I went in, I know I have labs due next month, so I knew she was going to give me the form that I take to LabCorp to get my labs run. Um, and we sat down and we're talking for a while, and uh, she just asked how I was doing and um, talked about my weight a little bit, talked about my weight since, you know, my surgery, um, just how things are going with my diet and am I eating and I told her, you know, I'm still drinking a lot of shakes and I don't have a lot of room for food after I drink my shakes and she said that's pretty understandable and normal. Talked about protein, of course, that's the most important thing. Um, but then I was talking to her a little bit about because I've been feeling dizzy. I think I've mentioned it before on my channel where I have, when I get up, specifically when I when I get up from standing, or I'm sorry, get up when I stand up from sitting or laying down, like when I, in the morning, um, I get dizzy, and um, it's pretty bad sometimes. Sometimes I have to just sit right back down, um, or I have to just stop and wait for it to pass, and. So I remember about a month, a couple months ago, we were talk, I talked to her about it and she thought it was my B12 and I'm pretty sure it's not my B12. I've been taking the same B12 forever. So um, anyway, I brought it up again yesterday and she mentioned that, um, so when you lose a lot of weight, it takes a, a while for your body to catch up and specifically your legs. So I, I've told you all before, but I carry a big chunk of my weight in my legs and so since I'm losing a lot of weight in my legs my you know your blood pumps your from your legs from your feet to your heart and so now that I'm smaller when that happens when I stand up and it triggers your triggers my body to pump blood it's pumping too much or too hard um, so it's Pumping to the level that it would have when I was, you know, 282 pounds or 340 pounds or whatever. I don't, I don't know exactly what, what level my body thinks I'm at, but that kind of made sense to me because it's not, I don't know. It's, it just kind of makes sense just because it, it doesn't, I know I'm eating everything that I'm supposed to be eating. I know I'm drinking everything I'm supposed to be eat, drinking. I'm taking, um, you know, all of these vitamins doing everything I'm supposed to be doing. So I, I knew that it had to be something other than, you know, my diet, which is what you would typically point to after you have duodenal switch surgery or really any weight loss surgery probably. But so anyway, I've kind of noticed that that, I, now that I'm a little bit mindful of that, I kind of just kind of wait a second. I don't try to get up and just run, even though I have a lot more energy now than I did before my surgery. I just try to, you know, give my body a second to catch up. And I think that that, I think that's going to help. We'll see. I'll let you know. The other thing I wanted to share with you is I went to, I, I have seen the same girl, her name is Courtney, and I've seen her to do my hair um, since probably 15 years. She's uh, always done my hair that I remember. And she's really good. She's really nice. We're kind of friends. And um, I just love her. She's really cool. And we've been through a lot together, obviously. But she 
last time I saw her, which I see her every three months. So last time I saw her was three months ago. And she at that time said that she couldn't really tell that I had any real hair loss, that my hair looked pretty thick. I didn't look bad at all. And at that point, I was like, wow, you know, I thought maybe I, because that was sorry, my, I was, I wasn't quite six months at that point, right? I was like four months at that point. So I thought, well, I'm probably going to just lose a ton of hair. And now that I'm seven months out, I went and saw her and she's just talking about all this regrowth. And I guess I have just little baby hairs all throughout my hair, like up here and down here and just everywhere. Um, and so that's great. So I somehow managed to have a lot of hair loss and not realize it. <laughs> um, but we were talking about it and it was just, it's like stri I have straggly bits of hair and so we talked about kind of layering my hair a little bit or cutting it a little bit just to, so that my hair could all catch up and I talked to her about I don't know last time I did a video I think it was my Trader Joe's haul I there was a couple when I was editing my video I noticed my my forehead is just huge so maybe I did lose a lot of hair in the front and it's starting to grow back but I mentioned to her that I thought my head, my forehead was just huge and I don't know if it's always been that way and I just noticed it with the weight loss, you know, my face has lost a lot of weight. So I don't know if it's that or if it's hair loss or what, but she's asked me if I wanted to cut some bangs and so I said, yeah. So I did that, so I have a little bit of bangs. I'm not really a bang person, but I just think for right now where things are starting to grow out, grow out and even out a little bit, I think it's probably a good idea. So. Um, I have some layers and yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I think that's going to help with the hair growth because I don't really notice it as bad. But I just wanted to say about hair loss. Um, and I, I heard so much before my surgery and I was so stressed about losing my hair. Um, I don't know, and I'm a woman and I have emotions around being a woman, you know, and so I speak to women about this. It could be the same for men. I'm not sure, but I know as women, our, a lot of our identity is wrapped up in our hair, especially when you're morbidly obese. Like, I don't know. It just seems like your hair is extremely important. And I had a lot of stress around that. And so I didn't want, it wasn't bad enough that I wanted to, that I would, was going to reconsider my surgery. I knew I wanted to have my surgery, but I did start taking a lot of supplements um, and I, of course you have to take a lot of supplements before your surgery anyway. Like just, they, they take, you just take tons of iron. I was anemic at that time, probably still am anemic, but, um, so I was taking tons of iron. I was taking tons of calcium. I was taking multis, just, you take so many vitamins. And on top of all that, I would start, I upped my biotin. So I was taking two of my t normal biotin tablets a day. I started you know, zinc is really helpful for hair loss. So I started taking a lot of zinc. Um, I started taking L-lysine, which is something that I've read that is really good for hair loss and hair regrowth. So um, I was taking that three months before I had my surgery. And I just wanted to say that if you are really wanting to have weight loss surgery and you're really stressed out about your hair, I just want to encourage you to number one, it's your hair is going to grow out or I'm sorry, it's going to grow back. Most of the time I've, I've never even really heard of very many people that have had their hair lot. I, I mean, just on Facebook's is, Facebook groups is where I hear it, but people almost always have their hair grow back. But I just think if you take some vitamins and supplements preemptively before you start losing ha hair, it won't be as bad or it won't be as noticeable because you will have regrown so much hair before your surgery that the hair you're losing isn't so isn't as noticeable or isn't as dramatic as you know it would be. I don't I don't really have very thick hair. I actually have very fine hair, and so I was very worried about it before. Um, but that's why that's why I was taking all those vitamins and everything. And I just I'm just really glad that I did that. Not that it matters in the long you know long term scheme of things because I was going to do the surgery no matter what. But I do think that. Just taking a lot of supplements before my surgery kind of really helped that so and i'm just so happy that i'm having regrowth already before i even knew that i had lost a whole bunch so that's pretty cool <laughs> um and um just about my weight i'm still a 197 and i've been at 197 for a little while and that's okay um 
I am, you know, she told me to start drinking. She said I'm not really drinking enough water, so I'm gonna really, really up my water. And I've been, ta I've been drinking approximately 60 ounces of water every day since, um, since I could. And she said, just drink more than that. Drink, drink like 100 ounces of water a day and see if that helps. So uh, that's what I'm doing. And so yesterday is when I saw her and then I, that's the day I started drinking just tons of water. And so, you know, I was up a lot last night going to the bathroom because I had so much water, but I think, I think everything kind of evens out after a while. But anyway, I'm challenging myself to drink um, 100 ounces of water a day. And today I have had 52 ounces of water and that doesn't count my coffee or my shake so i've had a lot of liquid already today but and it's only 10 a.m so um hopefully i can get all of my liquids in before like five or six so that I, i'm not up all night again but um i don't know we're gonna see how that goes and i also am recommitting to my workouts and i'm back up to 30 minutes a day on my treadmill i'm really excited and happy about that I think that's gonna help with my weight loss. Um, we'll see, I really hope that next time I see Carly, which is about six weeks from now, I really hope to have lost at least 10, 10 or 15 pounds. That would be really great. Um, well, that's my, that's my hope. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day um, and I hope you subscribe and if you have any comments or questions or anything you w would like me to tell you or explain or anything you think I should make a video about, I would really appreciate um, any comments. I just really appreciate it. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.